Hey guys, you're Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to share with all you PlayStation 4 users a little tip here that I didn't cover before in a couple updates ago. Um, a couple updates ago, before 3.5, um, Sony actually added the ability to see how much storage we have available for the cloud service. Like you see there, I have 10.73 of online storage and 7.51 of available storage if I delete this game from the cloud. So that's a pretty cool feature that we didn't have before and to go there and see this, all you gotta do is when you're here, just go to the PlayStation Plus section. Uh, right here in the PlayStation Plus section, of course, you're gonna see all the available offers, all the free games that you got with the PlayStation uh, Plus membership and all that. Right here, right now, it hasn't loaded up for me yet, but you're gonna see it right there. Uh, but where you wanna go is right here, it says Manage Membership. From here, you can see your subscription. Um, you can manage it there and what we're going to go is to online storage and there it is. It's going to take you to application save data management. From here you can uh, see the save data in your system, save data in online storage, save data on the USB storage device and auto upload. Um, here in auto upload, make sure it is enabled. That way and um, any other game that you install on your PlayStation 4, it will automatically upload to the cloud but let's say you do not want to upload a specific game you could go ahead here to any game and just um uncheck it uh let's go ahead and check here a couple games i'm not playing like for example this one and this one uh you can uncheck those games and they will not upload those save file to the storage now where we want to go is here it says save data in the online storage we want to go and see the section where we can delete um, online storages save files so right here like you see every game is basically around 10 megabytes 10.49 uh, 20 like see there, drive club is 325 uh, but some games can be very 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 huge like for example this one right here WWE 2k16 966 megabytes almost a gigabyte so if you want to delete that all you got to do is check it if they, if it has more files you could check all of them at the same time and like you see there it says 4.8.48 gigabytes of free storage after i delete this back awesome so that's it that's how you delete your online storage now let's say you want to download some of those um, files that you have online all you got to do is click right here and go to your download to system storage um, and choose any game that you want here to your playstation 4 now this is what you do after you install a hard drive to your playstation 4 um, you save your files it's automatically saved and you go to this section here and you download any games that you have in the cloud to your storage new storage like you see here i'm downloading Bl uh, bloodborne and like you see there it says uh, i already have this on my hard drive do you want to override it i click yes for the purpose of this video um if you install a new hard drive it's not going to tell you anything it's just going to download to your hard drive because there's nothing there some people ask me if you can save or back up your game installation files you do not want to do that these game installation files are huge like for example this this game right here information 50.21 gigabytes you do not want to back that up remember this installation is in the disk is on the disk or when you install the disk it will automatically download from your uh, from the game servers or whatever you do not need to back up these game files these are huge game files so forget about those game installation and concentrate on what's most important, which is this game save files. Uh, remember, you can also access application save data by going to settings, then going all the way down to application save data management and access everything there just like we did before. Delete online storage, auto upload, update or upload. Just remember, you can do everything from there. And remember, um, if for those that are new to my channel, I did up, uh, upgrade my hard drive to a one terabyte 
right long time ago and believe me i find myself still deleting a lot of files from a hard drive because these game installations are huge and like you see there i barely have 76.52 gigabytes of storage available and i think later on in the future i will be up, up upgrading to at least two terabyte or maybe four terabytes because now the playstation 4 is compatible with four terabyte hard drive so if you want to see a video later on in the future of me upgrading to a three or four terabyte let me know thumbs up the video and let me know in the comments uh and i'll try to do another video upgrade for my hard drive till next time guys